Williams showed very little emotion as he walked inside a Martin County courtroom Friday morning. Prosecutors were there to ask for a continuance. They want to make sure the defendant comply with this plea agreement. They say a U.S. military laboratory is helping to determine if they have all of the remains belonging to Trisha Todd. They have tools and techniques at their disposal where they feel confident that they're going to be able to give us some opinion uh, one way or the other. But the defense says his client already complied regardless of any other outcome. The judge ruled in the state's favor and gave them extra time to work on the case. We caught up with Todd's father as he left the courtroom. I feel good. I have a really good prosecutor and, I'm really, and a good judge. He's one of the best judges in the county. Williams confessed to killing his ex-wife. He then led detectives to her remains in exchange for a plea deal. Before Williams left the courtroom Friday, he asked to be waived from any future court hearings. What does that tell you about him? I mean, you know this guy now. Everybody knows this guy. They know what he did. They know who he is. And this is just his, apparently his last ditch effort at, at hurting this family. Well, the sentencing date was scheduled for next Friday, but that has since been canceled. So the next court date is set to take place on September 30th. In Stewart, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.